and I are taking a moment right now to address why we look the way we do, <laughs> why we dress the way we do, because we get so many emails, comments, questions about that exact topic. Well, it's kind of amusing to us because what we wear is what reflects our passion and our interests, our taste. We're not conforming to any new age standard, nor are we trying to create one. Well, and, I, and we don't even want to conform with names. You know, we, we live so far outside the sense of labels. When did labels become reality? I mean, what is that about? But one of the things I thought you might find interesting is both Kira and I have very, uh, you might say, conventional histories. <laughs> if that's a word. You know, for 20 years I was a corporate executive and during that time I, I was privileged to work in the tech industry. I even took my company public and uh, was very, very much filled with ambition and, and the desire for money and power and achievement and all of these conventional motivations. And his hair was about this short. And my hair was short and I wore the suit. <laughs> and I wore he had the, the side part. I'm not kidding. When I met him, he had the side part. It was adorable. But in a nutshell, what happened to, uh, to spur me along on my path was after having a fabulous, successfully uh, successful career and taking my company public, Within two years, I was bankrupt. Now, there's a hard life lesson, huh? You know, going from being a multimillionaire to being a zero nair. <laughs> <laughs> and that moment is the most precious gift I've ever received mm -hmm. in my life because in that moment, I was on my knees and I let go of my need to control. I surrendered my ego, saying basically to the divine, if there's a purpose for my life, guide me. Yeah, yeah, I love that. You know, because of course I call that all pre-K. That was pre-Kira. Pre-Kira. And then uh, the guide me led him to K. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, this is true. It is true, when the two of us got together. And you know, I think many of you already know, and some of you perhaps don't know, that my beloved Angel Sri is my fifth husband. Yes, I admit it. And the gift was that, you know, I finally had to get to my knees moment where I finally realized that the only thing I had in common with all these failed relationships was me. <laughs> and so once I was able to really pay attention to that and really get clear on what I wanted in my life, within months, Sri, Sri appeared and appeared via the web. Yeah, we're an internet dating story, uh, spiritualsingles.com. That's where we met. And I think it's important to recognize that, you know, Sri and I both led very traditional lives. I mean, I don't need to go through the bio, but I could. I was an extremely successful entrepreneur. At one point, I owned the largest woman-owned insurance agency in the United States for a very long time. I lived a whole other life. And the gift of falling to your knees and realizing that none of this is the truth is that you wake up to the truth of who you are. And for Sri and I, living outside the illusion is the greatest reality there could ever be. And so I invite you not to judge us on the way we look. I invite you not to judge us on the length of Sri's hair or mine for that matter, although we are in competition and he's winning. It will get longer. <laughs> it will. <laughs> We invite you to listen. We invite you to tune in with your heart because your heart is the ultimate lie detector, my angel. Only your heart knows is what you're hearing is the truth. Don't let anyone ever tell you that they know better than you because they don't. You are the miracle. And for each and every one of you, find your critical moment. Whether that critical moment is just the realization, if not now, when, when? <laughs> and you take the action step to live authentically, or whether like me, you need a bankruptcy or an illness or whatever pivotal action will stimulate you to finally let go and let the divine essence flow through you. Yeah. Or as the great Persian mystic Rumi once said, gamble everything for love if you are a true human being.